Hello everyone. In today video we are going to discuss Ethernet interface types. Then we'll discuss security zone, virtual router and intra zone routing. So we will start with Ethernet interface types. So we need to go under network interfaces then Ethernet and we can select one of these interface any one of these interface. For example, I can select Ethernet one slice one. Now here we can see we have an option interface type. Okay, so here we can see type interface HA virtual wire layer two and layer three. <clears throat> so type interface we can use when we want to monitor traffic flowing in existing network. So we can connect our firewall in any any one of the existing network and we can ma make that interface as a type interface and that interface we can connect to any one of these any one of existing switches so it will monitor all the traffic flowing through those switches so it is used to evaluate and audit the network and next we have HA that is high availability when we want to form high HA or high availability between two Palo Alto firewall in that case you can make that interface as a HA interface then we have virtual wire virtual wire uh, we can we can connect our firewall in the existing network but we don't need to configure any MAC address any IP address but your firewall will work as a uh, your firewall can allow or deny the packet but the IP configuration or MAC address configuration is not needed in the case of virtual wire interface then we have layer 2 when you want to use your interface as a switch or it will when you want to use your interface or you want to forward traffic by using destination mic address or source mic address in that case you can configure your interface as a layer 2 layer 3 when you want to perform routing by by your firewall or when you want to route your packet from one interface to a, another interface in that case you can use layer 3 interface so that's all for the ethernet interfaces types now we will discuss security zone so we'll, we'll try to add so here we can see type okay now we can see we have type security zone virtual wire layer 2 layer 3 and terminal so for each interface type we usually create a separate security zone for example if you want to configure layer 3 interface then you need to create layer 3 security zone same for layer 2 security zone and virtual wire and type and tunnel Tunnel security zone we usually configure when you want to form a VPN tunnel between one firewall to another firewall. In that case, you need to configure tunnel security zone. And by using this security zone, we, we are also configuring security policies. We will discuss in details how to configure security policies in upcoming videos. So that's all about the security zone. Now we will discuss the virtual wire, virtual router. So virtual router, virtual router, it it work as a routing table in the router. For example, by default, default virtual wire will be virtual router created in the Palo Alto firewall. And here we can add any one of any one of our existing network or any one of the existing interface so as of now there is no interface we have created so by using these method we can create a mul multiple virtual wire virtual router and the routing table of each virtual router will be separated so it will not mix so for example we can create a one more virtual router we can give any name new virtual router and we can try to there is no interface so uh, will not create interface here so we have created new VR now we'll try to add this virtual router here in Ethernet one slash one okay 
so we have to select layer 3 and now here we can add the virtual new VR new virtual router same for Ethernet 2 we can select this as a layer 3 and now we can select virtual router default one okay and we we can also configure an IP address so it will help us to like uh, find out like how routing table is getting created in the Palo Alto firewall 10.1 slash 24 okay I am using 10.1 for Ethernet 1 slash 1 then for Ethernet 1 slash 2 I am using 20.1 192 168 20.1 slash 24 20.1 now we have to commit now commit is successful so we'll verify the virtual router here you can see we have added ethernet 1 slash 2 in under default virtual router and under new virtual router we have added the ethernet 1 slash 1 now if you verify here we have uh, run time start here if you click forwarding routing information there is no I think it is because we haven't created any okay so here we can see for new VR, we have routing table 192.168.10.1. It is created for Ethernet 1 slash 1. And for this, Unicost. Okay. So here, routing table is not creating because I think that interface is down. Okay. Uh, it is not connected any, any, like any end device. That's, that's maybe the reason. Uh, it's not forming the uh, routing information for Ethernet 1 slash 2. However, you, you saw that like uh, it is creating a different routing table for each interfaces. So if uh, if you are added Ethernet 1 slash 2, 1 slash 3, 1 slash 4, so under default it will create a routing table only for those interfaces which is added under under that uh, that uh, virtual router and same for if we are adding here ethernet 1 slash 5 1 slash 6 1 slash 7 so it will create a routing table for those interfaces so that's all for virtual router now we'll try to verify the intra zone routing okay so this is our this is our network diagram so i have connected a pc on ethernet 1 slash 1 and on PC, let us take the console of this PC. And now we'll verify whether show IP. So here we have to configure an IP address so we can use that same IP address. So we, we can try to ping that IP address from our firewall IP address 192, 192.168.10.10 255.255.255.0 192.168.10.1 Okay, so it is configured 10.1 and we are going to use this IP address on the Ethernet 1 slash 1. So on Ethernet 1 slash 1, it is already configured 10.1. Okay, 10.1 is configured. Now we also have to add management profile. Otherwise, we will not have to ping. Management profile. <coughs> It is used to allow the ping on that specific interface. If by default all the ping will be dropped. If you are not adding any management profile, then all the packets will be dropped on the on that interface. You will not able to do ICMP ping. So I, I have added this profile on that interface. So here you can see I have allowed the ping. Okay. 
now we'll commit here we are getting an warning it eth interface ethernet one slash one I, I think we haven't done the zone configuration that may be the reason so we will add the zone here layer 3 layer 3 zone okay now we'll commit once again now commit is successful we'll try to ping from our pc ping 192.168.10.1 so it is ping ping is working fine so that's all for this video maybe in in upcoming video we'll try to do some inter vlan routing we'll configure some vlan on our Palo Alto firewall will try to create some scenario and will try to ping from one PC to another PC. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.